Once again, welcome back to the Land of Pain, this time for part six, and I think in part six we're actually heading up this path here, over to that road, over the valley, and I didn't actually notice this last time, but um, just in front of the road where there seems to be cars and lorries crossing over, which is a very strange visual, speaking of strange visuals, there seems to be a giant statue of Cthulhu, or the Great Ancient, overlooking the forest down here, maybe even two of them, because I think I see tentacles down there. Very, very strange. Very strange indeed. But yeah, we're probably going over there looking for help or something. I don't know. But um, yeah, let's continue going up the path. And hopefully this time we're not caught out. And this time we don't have to run back to the trains. So let's turn the light off. And let's focus on the left. Because that's where I was seen last time. Did I just see something? I don't know, man. I don't know. Let's take it steady. I think we're heading... Yeah, we're probably heading right over there. Maybe to that hut? I don't know. Oh, there's something over to the left, though. Maybe I should take a look. I don't know. Probably want to stay out of the lights, really. Maybe that's why I was caught out last time. Okay. Ah, there you go. There's the lights. They're not lights like this, though. They're torches. Okay. <sighs> oh, shit. Is that another Cthulhu head? Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay, okay, well, uh, left or right? Which way? Which way is it going to be? I want to say left. Look at this. This looks like maybe another temple or something. What the fuck? Oh my god, we got steps up here. It's like an altar. Jesus Christ. What? Okay. Seems to be some kind of ancient temple where sacrifices were being made. Okay. What? Oh god. Okay, hang on, hang on. <laughs> Was that... Did, did I just see the smoke? Fuck, no, right, we're going this way. Probably not the wisest decision I've ever made, but yes, we're running between the two great ancients' heads. And yes, we're going this way. Fuck. Right, there's a gate here. I'm hoping it's not locked or anything. Fuck, it's locked, but I can easily climb the fence. Okay, climb the fucking fence then, Jesus. Go, go, go. Come on, come on, come on. Keep doing it, keep doing it. Right, 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 right. I lost him. I lost him. Okay, what the hell did I just jump through exactly? Can I go back in? Of course I can. Oh, it's a graveyard. Bloody hell, okay. Well, that was kind of strange. So why did he give up the chase? Can he not jump? Can he not phase through gates? Maybe he doesn't have the key. Wow, like an altar. An actual temple down there. That's kind of awesome. Right. So yeah, let's see. No names or anything? Big old mound of dirt. Yeah, all of them unnamed graves. Can I get some water? Do I need another bucket? No, apparently not. I can go over there, apparently. Hang on, wait, what was that? Oh, it's the page! The page, right. We have at last decoded the ancient book. Our discovery is quite upsetting. Thousands of years ago, before he settled in our world, our powerful god, the Great Ancient, lived hidden in the oceans of Earth. Yeah, it's definitely Cthulhu. <laughs> when our ancestors discovered the machine and opened the portal to the Earth, he transitioned into our world and was quickly worshipped. The Great Ancient ordered the machine to be destroyed to prevent our people from ever meeting the humans of Earth, but we did not obey. Only the surface structures of the machine were destroyed, the ones he could see. But the underground structures remained intact, together with the machine itself. In that moment, our Order of the Chosen Ones was born. A small group of people, called to protect this great secret. The only persons with access to the secret places deep underground. The purpose of the machine was lost to the ages. Until now! <laughs> I suppose. Alright, any other pages? I kind of want to be thorough. Don't want to miss anything, really. I'll tell you what. This might be the dumbest idea I've ever fucking had, but... I'm going over here, into the danger zone, and I want to see what's up the path. That was me again. I'm thinking it was me again. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. Th this way, come on. Hop to it, hop to it. Come on, come on, come on. Here we go, here we go. Oh, it's another tunnel. Hopefully this time I don't get run over by a fucking train. I need to see where I'm going. Oh, Jesus Christ, that doesn't really help either. No. 
Oh, come on. Actually, I can just sort of see the outline of the curb here. No, oh, hang on. No, I can't. Oh. Oh, Jesus. Another landslide, another roadblock. All right, okay. Well, it looks like we're heading back to the graveyard then. There was like a building that I haven't checked out, so yeah. Back over we go. Come on. Oh, Jesus. I should save my stamina just in case I actually do need to run soon. Up and over. Yeah, just like that. That's it. Yeah, I don't know where he is right now. I guess he's maybe chilling at the temple near the altar. All right, up and over. <laughs> That's insane how high we can jump. And uh, yeah, a couple of buildings to have a look at. Let's start with this one over here. All right. I hear something. And there's a door here. Oh, wait, wait, no. What's, the, uh, what's that strange noise? The door is boarded up. Maybe I can find a way to remove them. Maybe you can. Is it inside? Yeah, it's inside. Can't see anything but boxes. Oh, hang on. Now that there's blood down there, there's definitely blood. It, mm, around here? No, there is no round here. Bloody co- oh, hang on. Coffins? Yep, there's an awful smell in the air. These coffins have obviously been unearthed. But for what purpose? Right. Is that the, the gate we're meant to use? Yeah, <laughs> it's locked, but it doesn't matter. There's a lot of short fences and walls around here, so no matter. Okay, so we're looking for like a crowbar, something that can get the boards off. So we can head towards that sound. Brilliant. Couple of markers, and one in the distance, and some lights. I guess this is the way we're meant to go. Wow. Oh, shit. I was thinking this might be a crypt or something. This looks more like a church. Blood on the door as well. It's locked. Okay, I don't want to be discovered. What are those voices coming from inside? Voices? I don't hear voices. They might be having a rave inside there. I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, let's leave them be. Alright, let's just follow the markers. Yeah, I think he's got real trouble going through objects or jumping over things. So I think I actually might be safe. If it's just one of them. That's a big if, though. Let's, let's get off the path. Let's stay away from the lights. That was my mistake last time, I think. Let's go over here. I want to see what this is all about. What's going on? Oh, big bushes in the way. Never mind. This is a giant building. This might be like a fort or something. And I don't suppose I can climb up the rocks, can I? Probably not. Definitely not. No. No. All right. Well, let's... Let's hug the right wall. It worked for me in the past. It could work again. There might be a ladder up or something, or a little pathway. Damn. This, the monster in this game is just is so weird. It disappears at will. It could be anywhere. And it, it because of that, you're always sort of on edge. Hang on. <laughs> Fuck, that was not me! What was that? Was I just scared by a sound effect again? I think I was. Right, we have a door here. It's shut tight, seems to be locked from the inside, but, however, we do have a page, or pages here. Possibly written by the guy who fell from the tower after he thought I was a monster. Anyway, no one has dared interfere with the Chosen Ones, but if I pay attention, I might be able to discover their secrets. They've always had access to forbidden knowledge. That's what allows them to exercise their power. I've been spying on them for a long time. They're very careful in avoiding detection, but I think one of their secret meeting places is in, is in the basement of a nearby house. I've often seen them going there and staying for hours. There seems to be some sort of secret mechanism to open the door. I think it's connected to the well somehow. I've seen them lowering a bucket full of stones into it. I've seen one of them hiding keys between the rocks, in the wall, next to the house as well. Tonight, I'm going to discover more. Alright. Yeah, and another page. A hooded figure with a strange... pendant. That looks kind of like a cog or a gear or something. Cool. Alright. You talking about this? 
Look from the inside. Maybe there's some sort of way. Hang on, let me just read this again. Because there was a couple of things. Like, it's connected to the well somehow. There's a bucket full of stones. And there's there's keys hidden between the rocks in the wall next to the house as well. I don't know if you'd call this a house or whatever, but this might be it. Is there a well nearby? Maybe just up there. I don't know. Bucket full of stones, though. All right. There's some light over there, by the looks of it. Can we, um... I don't think we can go in from the roof, can we? Uh, no, no. I... <laughs> Struggling even to get on the damn thing. No. Never mind, never mind. Uh, well, let's head towards the light, shall we? So we're looking for a well. Okay. And the well is next to a wall. Right. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah. It sort of cuts through. Let's go down. There you go. Oh, hang on. No, there's something up here. Looks like another little hut. Could be. No, it's a bit more than a hut. Holy hell. Okay. Well, maybe this is it. Maybe this is the house he was talking about. This is more like it. All oh, right. Oh, this is like a garage. Fair enough. Wait. Trunk. Trunk. It's locked. Okay, so we're looking for a key, or again, like, you know, the boards, like a crowbar, something like that, something we can pry it open. Is this our getaway vehicle? Hang on, what was that? Ah, nothing useful here. Well, then why did you put something like that there? <laughs> oh, more red lights. And another way down there. Oh, maybe that would go... Yeah, it looks like it goes all the way down to... Is that a road? Maybe that goes to the other side of the tunnel. But yeah, I think I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's have a look at this house here, shall we? Just hang on, is that... Is that what I think it is? Is that a well? That's mud. But yes, that is a well. This is the well that I mentioned. Maybe it connects with the cellar of the house. Maybe it does. Maybe it does. I can't tell because I can't see. But what we need, I think, is a bucket full of stones. And right, there's a w right, there's a wall. I don't know which wall. This wall. That wall. A wall near a well. And, uh, near some rocks, there's some keys. Let's try the door. Locks. No way to open it. Okay. There's another door over here. Okay, that one's just locked. I guess I can open that. Hang on. I hear something inside, I think. Maybe upstairs? And what have we got around here? Right, another door. Another door. Okay. Again, it's locked. So we're looking for two keys, it seems. Right, yeah. Well, one of the keys, I guess, is probably going to be around the well somewhere. So, rocks near the wall, I think. Or in the wall, I think it was. So, this is more of a rocky wall than the actual building, so I'm just having a look over here first. Hang on, wait, no, there's something. Yes, I've got a key, huh? Uh, there's a small metal key between the rocks. I'd have never found it uh, if I hadn't read that note. Thankfully, I did. Okay, so... Is it for the house, or that area around there? Or maybe something else? Alright. Here we go. Oh, oh! We've got movement upstairs. I think there's someone here. Maybe let's close the door and come back later. Nah, fuck that. Let's go in. Let's go in. Let's go in and have a read. Alright, I'm just going to keep the lights off, just in case. It seems that an encounter between our species and that of the Earth would be dangerous for the Great Ancient. If we can understand the reason, we may have found a way to get rid of him. This was our ancestor's hope, and is why the machine was left intact. However, we cannot risk him discovering what this building hides, otherwise the machine would be in great danger. In an attempt to understand the Great Ancient's desire not to allow our species to meet, we have begun to examine the specimen captured during our last expedition. Physically, it is very similar to us, though its skin and eyes appear to have a different makeup. Blood analysis revealed that its composition is similar to ours, though its elements exist in different concentrations. The individual appears to understand our language, however. However, the specimen escaped before we were able to question it. Are you talking about me or the guy that jumped from the tower? Probably me, or well, maybe both of us actually. Right. Books. We got books over here. <laughs> uh, esoteric books, funnily enough, yep. Yeah. They seem to be about ancient gods, dark rituals, and monstrous creatures. As you do, fuck. There's 
another fucking door opening somewhere. And I can't see shit, and it could be upstairs, actually. It probably is upstairs. Okay, well, what about this door? Does this work? Yep. Fuck it, I'm just gonna keep the lantern out. I mean, if the monster finds me, it finds me. I'm kind of trapped in here. Alright, what do we got then? Filthy looking water, smelling awful. Same, yeah. Wood for the stove. Very old school, we got a toilet. Oh, hang on. What are we doing? Are we using the toilet? I think so. All right. I thought we might be like looking for a key down the uh, down the U bend or something, but no. I just I guess we needed to go. Never mind. <laughs> nice little touch, I suppose. All right. Well, there you go. That was the bathroom for you. Now let's uh, let's. Oh shit. Wait, that's just another statue, isn't it? Yeah, it's another bust of good old Cthulhu. It's definitely Cthulhu. Definitely. Is that the door I tried from the outside? It must be, yeah, they, yeah that's the one that's locked and there's no way to open it. Pretty disgusting looking kitchen. Look at this oven. Jesus Christ. What were they eating? Not much. I don't blame them. Alright, nothing in here. Some more wood for the stove. That's about it. Pots, pans. Working lights. Alright, I guess I'll keep it on just in case. Wow. <laughs> Hello again. Wait, wait, wait. Hang on. I got... Oh, it's the telephone. Of course. I mean, who are you going to call anyway? This is, this is on the other side of the universe. None of the numbers you know are going to get anywhere. Of course it doesn't work. They really are pretty much dedicated to uh, to worshipping the Great One, aren't they? Yeah. It's either someone in a hooded robe, or it's or it's Cthulhu himself. Anyway, here we go. Oop. Right, there's, uh, there's something going on up there. What the hell? Okay, right. What the fuck? Right, I've got to have a look at that. Here we go, then. Here we go. Oh, God, really? There's another floor. Right, yeah, the trap door. Okay. There's a trap door blocking my way to the attic. The latch is rusted shut. Good! Good! <laughs> I want to stay away from basements and attics, I think, really. What the fuck is going on? Whoa! What is this? Yeah, examine it. Go on. I can feel some kind of weird energy emitting from this object. I feel strangely drawn to it. Huh. Well, this is this religious symbol that we keep seeing on top of the markers sometimes. And, well, all over the place, really. Maybe that's how the, the sphere works? There seems to be some sort of, like, heat coming off of it or something. I don't know. Is it white hot? I don't know. I'm not sure. What's this, though? Some sort of mechanism at the base. Looks like it's missing... Oh, yeah, missing a gear! Really? Okay, so we're looking for a gear as well as a key. Sure. Right. Was it this door that opened? I don't know. If you want, then. Here we go. Alright. How the hell did you lug a piano up here? Close the door, just in case. Can we play the piano? Ah, oh, you disappoint me, game. The lamp? Doesn't work, never mind. I think the light's good enough. Looks like we have another page to read. Failing to heed the warnings of the Great Ancient was a huge mistake, but now it is too late. A terrible being has appeared in our village. It is hiding in the woods and is killing us all. We have tried to shoot it, but conventional weapons have proven useless. We are bringing back as many specimens from Earth as we can, as we seek the missing piece. We vivisected them and used advanced interrogation techniques, as we believed them to be in possession of information that they did not intend to volunteer to us. These techniques worked. One specimen knew who the Great Ancient was, and confirmed to us that he did, indeed, live on Earth thousands of years ago. What astonished us was the specimen's revelation that, at that time, our god united with members of their human race, birthing a new ancestral line that turned against him. This is the information we have been searching for. We must find a descendant of that line. Right. Okay, lots of reading to be done, it seems. The Secret Place. According to what the Chosen Ones discovered by decoding the book, the Great Ancient used to live on the Earth, 
There he was worshipped by ancient civilizations whom he united with and birthed humans with his blood in their veins. Uh, however, thanks to the new power they inherited, they revolted and exiled him to the depths of the ocean. But when the creatures of this world opened a portal to the Earth, the Great Ancient escaped and regained his power in this other world. Just the thought of that monster living on the Earth and what it's done to humanity makes my blood run cold. I'm sure it does. Well, there you go. Alright, so... Alright, we have a working lamp. Brilliant. Not that one, though. No. <laughs> Alright, uh... So that is that, it seems. So we've pretty much explored the house, I'm pretty sure, unless there's something in these books over here. Nothing in the books? No? Nothing in the wardrobe? Hmm. Alright, so... Yeah. We're looking for a key? We're looking for, maybe... A way to get in the trap door? I don't know. A gear? A crowbar? Something like that? Nothing in the drawers down here. Just want to be thorough, really. Is that the thing just spinning in the next room? Yes, it is. That's very, very strange indeed. Go on then. Down we go. Whoa! Fuck! There's definitely someone in here. Go on, down we go. It wasn't that bust of Cthulhu, was it? I don't think so. There's no one here. There's no one here. <laughs> Nothing. We still can't open the door? No. It's locked, no way to open it. And then what the fuck happened there? Was it you? Can't open the drawers or anything? No, I can have a look at the telephone again. Yeah, not working. Okay. Anything here? Oh yes, we do! It's a key! It's a key cabinet with a key inside as well! Brilliant! Okay, well, um, well let's try the key outside, I suppose. That, I guess, is what I was looking for all this time. Alright, out we go. Just round the corner. <laughs> is it this one? No, no, it's not. That's locked. Okay, where does this key go then? That door that was down there, that was that was locked from the other side, so that's, that can't be it. Uh, it's not the key to the trunk, is it? No, that's still locked. Uh, I don't know. I'm actually not sure. Maybe we should have a look down here. Yeah, maybe we maybe we should. What is this? Looks like a shrine of some sort. Maybe candles for the fallen? Is that a tunnel? Oh, no, we have a door here as well. Ah, oh, I see. That's where the key was for. Here we go then. Right, what's in here? It's got to be something good. We've Oh, a bucket! A bucket full of stones! Great! Anything else? Nah, that appears to be the long and short of it, to be honest. But that's okay. That's alright. Um, yeah, okay, so let's go back up to the well. And then maybe, I don't know, maybe I'll go down to that road on the other side of the tunnel. There you go. So this is the mechanism that opens the door, apparently. I had, oh. What was that? Oh, was that the door around the side? Yes, yes it was. That's what it was for. Alright, okay, here we go. Okay. Right, there's a gate here. I'm hoping it's not locked or anything. Fuck, it's locked! You're always sort of on edge. Hang on. Fuck, that was not me! Oh, oh. We've got movement upstairs. As you do, fuck. What are we doing? Go on then, down we go. Whoa, fuck!